Okay, I'm using this video to try to explain my mirror world concept more clearly. Um, first off, this is probably the best picture I have of a portal, a televisual portal, because the trees where they were, parts of the tree where they were, stay in line with the doors that slide open because the wiring doesn't change, so it carries the image from directly behind where the doors were closed to where it's opened. There's no adaptability in that. So this is one of the best images of a portal I've ever made because it's faithful to the opening of the doors. But this is a cloaking interface. This is the light. This is the holodeck interface. And there's another interface that you don't see. It's either back here or it's up here. It's a spherical portal. And then um, these are the cutaway cross sections diagrams of this same television portal, except there's a pair now. There's Bob's portal and there's Alice's portal. And then this is television portals telepresent in the chain of mirror worlds, quote unquote, real and virtual. To start off with, I consider the outside world of light and matter, force and particle. Um, wave and particle, whatever, force and particle, um, energy and matter, energy and matter, light and matter, whatever. I consider the real world, everything consists of reality outside here, a giant holodeck. And starting with the virtual cloaking interface, it's virtual. There's only light that comes in here. But in the holodeck, the real holodeck interface, there's a real person in here. Um, and it's positive. And then the virtual holodeck is nothing but virtual light. So it's negative. It casts a negative. It's not so, but it casts a negative of the person. Transmits it through to Alice's por portal holodeck, which is real positive for her. And she sends herself, but she also sends his self through to to her holodeck. I should have drawn him here, but uh, the images confused things. And then his self is layered, his virtual self is layered over his real self. And then um, now she's virtual, but she's sent through this time, and now she's layered with her real self. And the layering of the virtual and the virtual were layered and goes like that again and again, and an infinite recursive feedback. And the neat thing about this is if any of the interfaces between these four pairs, four, four interfaces, are warped by any amount, you're, if you were in the holodeck, if you moved your hand or arm, you would see it be out of place by its virtual self by some degree, depending on the distortion of whatever, if they weren't perfectly spherical. spherical. And um, so these are these are supposed to be receivers. These are res um, emitters. And they emit, but um, the two things about this, the mirror worlds, they go from real world to virtual to real to virtual to real to virtual back down to real to virtual to real to virtual to real to virtual, and then it follows this infinite recursive pattern. And I had to X this out because. That was bringing the purple line up past where it should be, and it was my mistake. But these are the mirror worlds. And the, if you consider the outside world a giant holodeck. And um, I have reason 